everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you these sweet little um, doily snippet tags. I think that's what we're going to call them. <laughs> little doily snippet tags, and I use just um, a little doily, like I don't know, what is that, maybe a three inch, I guess I should have measured. Let me see. Yeah, I created them on these uh, three inch doilies, and of course I, I hand sewed everything on, but you don't have to do that, of course, but why wouldn't you? It's just fun. So on this doily, I sewed on, um, if you saw my design team package for this month, which I will link up here in the iCards, I had this wonderful uh, white applique. It was really big, beautiful applique. So I cut that into bits and I used it on all three of these. And I still have, enough, if I was going to make more of these, I could probably make another four more out of that one applique. It's that amazing. So you can kind of see it peeking out the back here. So I used that in the background. And then I used also from this month's DT package, the pink bridal applique and the pink bridal trim. I used both of those and you can see that peeking through all over the place. So then I uh, hand sewed that down. And then this is from one of my absolute favorite trims from Angel Dream Crafts and I just cut it into bits and sewed the bits on. I actually sewed that bit on upside down but it's still pretty. <laughs> you know, things happen. Because I'm usually trying to watch something or listening to an audiobook while I'm sewing, and sometimes I just get so involved in what's happening that I sew things on upside down, but it's all right. <laughs> it gets still worked out fine. I used another one of these wonderful little dictionary um, terms from my porch prints, and I just printed these out on fabric, and then I just have them around. I love them, so I use the fabric ones all the time. So I will try to remember to put a link to uh, these specifically down below. And then I used this connector from Angel Dream Crafts. It comes with doilies and connectors in a pack. I don't remember how many connectors. I think you get eight doilies, maybe eight connectors too. I don't know, but I love the way it looked peeking out from behind there. So that's what that is. Uh, one of her uh, pink rolled roses, which are my favorite. And then look at these amazing pearls I showed in my design team package. They're like unicorn pearls. They're just so pretty. And it depends on what, what color you see, depends on how you move it, which is just so super cool. So I sewed those on. And then I sewed on some buttons from uh, one of her mixed button packs, and I made just a little seam binding uh, bow right here. And then this is the uh, pink petal tool trim, with, and it also has a layer of netting. I think that's how it goes, or that's the tool. I don't know, but look how fluffy it is when you gather it up. So I sewed that onto the bottom, making that kind of ruffle I just thought was so pretty. And then I just added a bulb pin because I thought this would be fun to like hang it off of things, hang this little tag from something. And then I just added a little charm to each of the bulb pins. So this one was in my stash, just a little pearl and a little gold rondelle um, hanging. So there's that one. Just love it. And then here's this one. And I didn't cover up the back because, I mean, you can't hardly even see the stitches. I mean, you have to look really close to see the threads. So I just think it looks nice. That's why I love using doilies, because it just still looks pretty. Love it. I don't even have to cover it. So there's more of that white applique in the back here. Then I gathered up a lace, because I am loving the ruffly lace bits lately. Absolutely loving it. So I put that on top of that. I added another one of the dictionary words from my porch prints. One of my little tiny yo-yos. And then here is where I cut up that trim again. I sewed them on right side up all over this one. Go figure. More of the little unicorn pearls. They're adorable. And of course, more buttons because they're my favorite thing. Another seam binding bow. 
one of my favorite charms from Angel Dream Crafts, which is the pink and rhinestone charm. Hello. Love it. It's beautiful. And then I sewed on some of the bead trim from Angel Dream Crafts, which I've really been enjoying. And then um, on this one, I added her fairy in a star charm. How cute is that? On the bulb pen. I just love it. I just think it's so pretty. Wouldn't that just be pretty hanging off of a package or some, you know, happy mail or a journal or a bag? Just adorable. So there is that one. And then um, on this one, you can really see more of that applique on the back side of this one. So I sewed that down and then um, I made a flower out of a trim I had in my stash. I just doubled it up. Then I put another one of those connectors uh, peeking out back here. This little flower is off of one of Kim's trims more buttons. This beautiful trim is from Angel Dream Crafts. I love it. And then this bling was perfect for sewing on because of all the gaps in the bow. So I did hand sew that on. I just love it. And then I had this little um, gathered trim that came with a pearl on it and then I just sewed on some pearls from my stash and buttons. I mean and just everywhere. Any, anywhere you look under there's a button and a pearl there. And then on this bowl pen, I just added the uh, little word bead charms that I made a long time ago. Um, and I had this one left and I was like, divine princess? Yes, please. So I stuck that one on here. And it's just so cute. So I would love to know what you think. Please uh, leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up. That just helps my video to be seen by more people. And I will put a link, of course, to Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy below and to all of our current designers. I hope that you will go check everybody out because everybody makes so many different unique things and they just inspire me and I know that they would inspire you too. So I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.